Willis Tuesday. It sure is. And we're still looking at brass engines. We've been on brass engines for quite some time. Yes, we about got through all of them, I think. <laughs> well, well, we're still a few we made more a going. Dent yeah, in the we've made a dent. We're actually migrating. Dent the They've all been stored up in the collector's mm. attic. And now they're moving to the display case. Mm. The, and then I'm going to do some adjustment because the display cases are getting over full and stuff. So anyway, over full? <laughs> overly fully. <laughs> <laughs> need to come up with a better design. Uh, more of, display uh, cases. At any rate, last week, what we migrated down from the attic and showed you was a United Shea, mm -hmm. United Brass uh, Shea, a Benson Logging Company Shea. Uh -huh. And we're doing another United Brass Shea this week. Very, very similar to the previous, but this is Hillcrest Railroad. Hillcrest? Well, all of these engines are done to a very specific prototype. Oh. And the other one, the Benson Logging Company, is a very specific Shea off the Benson Logging Company. This is a very specific Shea off the Hillcrest Railroad. Neat. So um, let's take a look at it. It's a bit different than last week's Shea. In that, it's my favorite type of Shea. Oh. It's a tea boiler Shea. A tea boiler. And I paid too much for this. That's um, why it's called tea boiler. Because it's tea boiler. <laughs> tea you, for you, two. Because you keep tea in it. You can make a, <laughs> you can make a spot of tea and enjoy that later. But excuses. I, excuses. <laughs> But it's very much a Shea. Oh, it is, isn't it? But, Look at that. Um, the T boilers are kind of an earlier, different boiler design in that uh, instead of having the usual crown sheet thing, it's sort of like a weird hybrid between a vertical boiler and a horizontal boiler. It has a vertical section, mm. and the firebox is at the bottom of that, and then the, the flues go forward from there. So They're small. It's a very odd boiler for and, sure and a, but i just think the look of a tea boiler and, and it just it just enhances the look of a shea i think wow and there were a lot of tea boiler shays running around and when i saw this one i had to have it mm. and they wanted too much money for it and it's like well mm, okay okay whatever, i'll pay it. i have to have a tea boiler shea i love a tea boiler shea and uh don built a a T boiler Shea in O scale. He did? One of those brass engines. Oh, neat. I don't yeah. think I've seen it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that's the one with the squirrel. I don't know. With the squirrel? I'm not sure. <laughs> He's got that one engine where he put the squirrel, he bought a little, he paid way too much and got a little squirrel for it. Anyway, it sits on the no, wood. No, keep going. This is entertaining. The, the, <laughs> on the wood pile is a squirrel. Oh. <laughs> And it's just sitting there riding the locomotive. I don't know if a squirrel would actually ever do that. Yeah, they would. Why not? Why not? We, we digress. <laughs> At any rate, this is a, a tea boiler Shea. But look how neat it is that the whistle has to sit up on a, because there is no steam dome. No. There's the usual sand dome, but the top of the tea uh, on the boiler above uh, what would be uh, the crown sheet if they're, you know, um, in the space that would normally be the, the uh, steam dome is just the top of the firebox. It's all very, very unusual configuration. Yeah. And uh, I've only ever seen those used on a Shea, but I just think that is the neatest look. I love the, the safety valve sticking out and then the whistle sticking way the heck up in the air like that. That is really neat. I, I just think that is the knobbiest looking locomotive mm -hmm. anybody ever came up with. Different. Is the T Boiler Shea. Neat. And, uh, and classic logging, everything logging is supposed to be somewhat knobby and mm -hmm. unusual and weird. Including it's, the squirrel. It's including the squirrel riding on now the Now I know what to get you for Christmas. A squirrel? <laughs> In HO scale, that'd be one really small squirrel, but we don't normally do HO scale. We're no. more of a 20, 20 scale. So. so that means a bigger squirrel. So we, we do have a 20 scale. We actually have Shea squirrels. Too, so. Anyway, we, we do have a lot of squirrels. Yes, real live bushy tails. And they tend to eat the furniture. Yeah. So, so anyway, mm -hmm. uh, we digress. Again. Again, some more. But there it is United T uh, Boiler Shea off the, uh, the Hillcrest. Hillcrest. The Hillcrest Railroad. Not high school, but and I, I don't know anything about the prototype. I just fell in love with the model because it's a T boiler. It is. It's cool. I like it. I like it. And and then I also like railings around water tanks. Mm. I think that looks really really neat. And 
It does. But I think the, the wood load would have sat up on there, hence the need for the, the, rails. the railing. There's mm. no wood load up there right now, but there should be. There should be a wood load up there. And if I ever painted it and detailed it, then there would be a wood load up there. Yeah. But anyway. Well, if you, uh, <laughs> if you haven't been over to the channel, please pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, do that. please subscribe and set your <laughs> notification bell. And the way to subscribe or just get to the channel if you want to go over there is to click the blue button. Are we ready for Yay. that? Woo. Zoink! <laughs> right there, that is the blue button. I think the squirrel's got it. The squirrel got it. Why do the blue button? He's nuts. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again on Sunday because we're going to be doing some driving around for this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you then. See you. Bye. -bye. Bye.